New this evening, Congressman Richard Neal joined local leaders in Western Massachusetts today to announce some historic pipeline funding coming to the area. 22 News reporter Kaylee Collins is live to explain how the funding aims to ensure safety and create a cleaner environment. Ciara, historic investments made in Westfield, Holyoke and Wakefield's pipeline infrastructure made possible through a grant program that aims to modernize infrastructure and reduce methane emissions. Improvement to pipeline infrastructure is coming to the Commonwealth. We are awarding grants to community owned utilities to repair, rehabilitate and replace older legacy natural gas distribution pipes. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, together with the Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration, or PHMSA, has granted $22 million in total to Westfield Gas and Electric, Holyoke Gas and Electric, and Wakefield Municipal Gas and Light Department. This has been made possible through a bipartisan grant program established by President Biden's infrastructure law. With these funds, the three Massachusetts communities will have the means to better pipeline safety. But these changes that are taking place, they're really going to improve the lives of the American people. They say that not only will this funding help to maintain safety in our communities, but also promote a greener future. These pipes also leak harmful methane emissions, which have up to 80 times the global warming potential as carbon dioxide. Bettering safety, the climate, and the lives of workers, a win for the community and for those awarded the grants. So this is money that we would have had to spend anyway over the next 10 years, replacing about 21 miles of cast iron or leak prone pipe. It's a, a fantastic day for Westfield, for Westfield Gas and Electric. Now there has been some recent controversy over a proposed new pipeline in Springfield and tonight during 22 News at 6 we'll have Congressman Neal comment on how these pipeline improvements differ from that proposal. Working for you live, Kaylee Collins, 22 News.